How are you doing guys? Today I'm gonna show you how to start and grow your social media marketing agency from scratch. Doesn't mean that you have to actually provide a service that is specifically to social media marketing, organic marketing. It doesn't have to be that. You can do only Facebook ads, only Google ads, you can do only copywriting, only SEO, you can do only UX design. That could still count as a marketing service. Social media marketing agency, which is in SMMA. Let's cover how to start in multiple six figures a month this is what everybody's looking for nowadays because you literally don't have to do the work yourself but the structure is extremely important that what makes or breaks a digital marketing agency what makes me qualified to talk about this by the way I'm Jim nice to meet you I've been working in digital marketing agencies for 10 years now in Melbourne Australia but I've also sold my marketing agency in a couple of years ago I don't want to disclose it it's an undisclosure agreement so let's let's get into it the first thing is picking a niche some of you are gonna Come, come comment and say Jim let's say we're I'm starting from scratch I probably not in a position to pick and choose certain clients when a client comes to me and says yeah I want to work with you but he's in he's not in my niche how can I decline him I, I need clients that's a really good point but most of the time people are not gonna come at you when you're first starting off when you're starting from scratch nobody's gonna come at you unless you are really lucky like most of the time in years to come unless you're Gary Vaynerchuk or something people are not gonna come at you you have to have outbound leads inbound leads perfectly structured the lead structure but I will get into it right away the first picking a niche as I said so let's say you have an eye problem and you need like it's really bothering you and you you have two options one doctor is a generalist and he said yeah I do whatever I can solve all the problems and it doesn't really gives you that much confidence and you, you like you can lose your eye the worst case scenario is pretty bad and you go to him he says that and he says yeah I charge maybe a hundred bucks and you go to another doctor who is an eye surgeon he specializes on eye problems right Right? and he tells you I charge uh, five grand if you have that money you will pay him without a doubt because he specializes in that he specializes in that problem because people by nature they they think ah, oh, it will not work for me it will not work for me because people think they're super unique in reality they are not actually right in this case we want to play into the human nature what they think is they're super unique individuals their business is unique never have never been done before so they, they, it won't work for me but when we pick a niche let's say you're focusing on gym you're gonna focus on gyms right if you work with a gym let's say you just have one client one client you approach to another gym owner with your ad I've worked with gyms before and I literally got this gym to full capacity in like a couple of months and he will say yeah I'm a gym owner and he worked with gyms I'll be way more confident to work with this guy rather than like a general agency who work with everybody right in that case even you have just one client you will be the eye specialist that's why selecting a niche is really important if you have no idea about picking a service I have another video I go over services which one to you choose which one to choose which one not to choose there's SEO PPC which is Google Ads and Bing Ads social media marketing which is Facebook ads, TikTok ads LinkedIn ads there is copywriting and and there is organic organic content post those are the five services I generally go over and suggest uh, there are some some of them they have pretty big margins like SEO organic content uh, right copywriting those have pretty big margins and you can outsource it with like huge profit but if you already have a skill let's say you know how to run ads you know how to rank websites you know how to write copy one of those or you know how to post strategic organic posts you don't have to outsource it and I don't, I don't suggest you outsource it from the get-go because you would start with really thin profit margins that's not the ideal scenario because you're gonna have a couple of clients when you first start by the way this strategy that I'm talking about if if you have some experience in those if you learn how to do it if you have no idea I urge you to learn a skill but if you say Jim I don't want to learn the skill I will, I'm just gonna outsource it you still can outsource it there is no problem you still can do it so what you can do in, in this case if you have no experience you're gonna go to Upwork and Fiverr you're gonna go to the countries which are Bangladesh Pakistan India Philippines are really cheap uh, Turkey has become really cheap I'm from Turkey as well there Azerbaijan Uzbekistan those countries are gonna be cheap and they have really good talent in terms of you know technical stuff when you're looking for an SEO person running ads website fixing website web dev those are gonna be your the countries that you want to go after 
if you go to like United States or UK to outsource it, if they have like tons of review, you want to go and outsource it to there, they're going to charge you more money than you charge the company, right? In this case, what we want to do is we want to look at the freelancers that have more than 40 reviews. Reviews meaning they are not faking it. So if they have five reviews only, they probably got your, got their friends to write comments and, you know, take some jobs to boost their profile a little bit, boost some social proof. But in this case, we know they are fake. So we want to go with people who has at least 20 reviews, right? Once we find those people, they're probably going to be not too expensive. But if you go to people with 1000 plus reviews, they're going to be really expensive. They built their social proof. They want to dominate the market. So we're going to go after people who have 10 or something plus reviews, right? After we get that person to agree with us, if we have no experience, first, we're going to, of course, lend the client. We're going to outsource it. But you might be asking, Jim, how are we going to lend this client, lend this goddamn client? So I'm 100% sure you tried going after people, DMing people, you tried emailing, cold emailing people, you tried cold calling people. Guys, this, those three tactics were working back in 2012 till 2018. Now those tactics don't work because I tried it myself. Back in those days, it was working pretty well and I got a lot of clients with this ta with those tactics. But now it is super saturated, guys. Everybody is called emailing, called DMing. And if you want to cold email those people, and I've seen a lot of videos, people take out their phones you know make a little research 30 minutes research record themselves and then do what they send it to the client this is just one client they're they're sending to one prospect which they probably might not need any marketing service if you do that to let's say 10 people a day that is five hours gone just by like reaching out and you just reached out to 10 clients which is nothing out of every hundred reach outs like this you're probably gonna get five responses i'm not talking about clients five responses which is 50 hours out of 50 hours you're gonna get five responses and you may or may not lend one client out of that. You may not lend one client with that tactic. Those people who are showing the, in the videos, like talking to cameras and whatever, they already have a team of salespeople. They are like cold calling them. They are following up with the lead magnets. They're just doing that to get views, guys. Trust me, those tactics don't work anymore. We have to allocate some budget for ads. We have to run some ads, but we have to have a solid offer. Our offer has to be rock solid. Our offer has to be a no brainer brainer i always suggest having a first month free whatever you do to prove prove our city once we give someone something for free they will need to urge to give us back and our offer should be something like this if you're doing seo uh, rank on the first page and we will do the first month for for free or rank on the first page for a selected keyword in 29 days or you don't pay those are bold bold claims but big agencies cannot make those bold claims but you can right you, you're just starting out nobody's gonna chase you for it even if you like get them from 10th position to second position in a certain keyword you'll they will probably still thank you because you did the work for free in the first month and a lot of people have been telling me um jim i did that but you know i i, I feel like i'm doing the work for free i'm afraid they're gonna be ripping me off in the long run and they're telling me they, they've just done one month work of free and then they told me this and then the next month they retained 70 percent of those clients and they told me again jim I, I was wrong thank you so much like this this is magic this is magic guys and trust me given a ver given one month free i've worked with a lot of teen years of mine they were really money like the short-term numbers oriented people they have to show to their top level okay we made this much this much because if you do one month for work for free you have to justify the cost if you go to a meeting with the ceo they cannot justify the cost because they were really afraid in the startup that was failed um they we had that issue with the companies that they are not actually afraid to give one month free work with the rule of reciprocity they are gaining ton of client retention and the the companies that they're working with let's say you get 10 people to agree to work with you for free first month you retain seven of them because it's easier for them to stay with you right it is a hassle for them to switch up the accounts if it's a paid media account it is even more painful if it's a copywriting you're providing you write a product description for free for one product if they see the improvement in one month if their conversion rate increases from one percent to two percent what the hell they're probably going to want you to write all the other product pages charge 100 bucks for 20 products you made two grand this is how it works
work. Guys, by the way, I don't want to make it too long. I will do a part two of it. And I also have a full course of the 17 hours long. And 99% of my current clients have built their agencies or are in profit. Some of you also told me, Jim, it is really expensive, but I am promising a lot here. So if it was 10 bucks, would you believe me to, you know, this course will help you to get to seven figures digital marketing agency. You won't believe me then, right? That's why it is expensive. That's why the promise is there. That's why I've gave, I've, I'm given you know, all the sales process, sales scripts that have been proven, the uh, lead generation tactics, how to run ads on Facebook specifically for agencies, how to close the clients, retain the clients, all small tactics and nuances with video testimonials and you will have one-on-one -on -one WhatsApp access to me. Anyways, if you like it, by the way, the link is in the description for the course, but if you don't have the budgets for it, it's okay. Comment part two and I will record the part two of this video. Take care.